What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Kendrick Lamar's upcoming album drops on Friday, and now we can finally say that we know the title, we have the track listing, and we have the cover. So we're going to discuss all of that today. The album is simply titled Damn. With Kendrick Lamar, you know that he has a purpose for everything, but until we actually hear the music or hear him talk about the album, we won't fully understand why he did the things he did. So that, it's, a, it's a cool title. I think it, it's unique and it's probably something that nobody was really expecting. But I'm, I'm interested to see like the correlation between the title and the music. Um, as far as the cover art goes, it's very simple. It's Kendrick Lamar, damn at the top in, in red letters. Um, it's kind of boring to me. I feel like artwork in 2017 is either really good or really bad. And this one uh, really looks bad to me. I think that Kendrick should have put some more effort into it. But again, Kendrick is someone who does something, anything he does has a purpose and so I truly believe that if he ever explains like the album artwork maybe I'll appreciate it more but just looking at it and glancing at it I'm not a big fan of it but luckily artwork really doesn't define the music it doesn't define an album for me so of course I'm still going to listen I think the most interesting aspect that he's revealed thus far is the track listing and we're going to talk about that on this album, you're getting 14 songs and two guest features. One is featuring Rihanna. It's on a record called Loyalty. And the other is with U2 on a record called Triple X. Now, that's kind of that's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting having U2 as a feature and then having them on a record called Triple X. I don't know what to expect from that. In order to learn more about where Kendrick is going with this album, I thought looking at the track listing enough reading it over and over again would draw some kind of correlation. Unfortunately, I didn't find much correlation between the titles and what the album could be about. Like Kendrick has talked about how it's going to be a very urgent album. It's going to be a little bit about God. He has a record on there called God. Um, but like the, the track listing doesn't really, you know, indicate much. I think it's cool that he has like a section of the album that does look like it might fit together. He has loyalty, pride, humble, lust, love, triple X, and fear. And, and that's a long stretch of the album, but those are all, um, you know, human aspects. You know, you also have blood and DNA. Uh, you got feel. I forgot to add feel in there. Um, so there's a lot that has to do with that. And so I'm wondering if that is going to be like a, a, a role that the album plays, like in the human role, the aspect. I don't know. I love uh, thinking about this stuff, though, and looking at the track listing and trying to piece it all together. So then I can go back when the album actually came out and say, OK, maybe I was wrong about this. Maybe I was right about this. You know, it's just it's cool and fun to discuss this type of thing. As for what songs I'm most anticipating, well, nothing really jumps out like that. I think that with this album, it's just going to be uh, something that I have to listen to as a whole. I'm not like, oh, this one is definitely going to be the, the standout, this one is going to be the banger. I don't have those feelings, and probably because there's no guest features, and like the producers that are on the album are great, but none of them are like ones that I feel Kendrick has never worked with. There's a few on there. Uh, Bad Bad Not Good is on there. Uh, I, I believe Kay Trinata has some additional vocals on uh, a track called Love. Um, there's some newcomers on here that are producing for Kendrick and that that's probably exciting. But um, it's t in terms of looking at the track listing, looking at the producers, there's nothing that I'm like, okay, this song is the one that I can't wait to listen to. I'm just excited to hear this album as a whole. One other note that I wanted to make was the interesting thing about the track listing, another interesting aspect, is that every song title is simply one word. From the album title to the song titles, it's all one word. And I'm wondering, again, Kendrick doesn't do anything just to do it. There's a purpose there. And so I'm also wondering what that means. 
um, if it'll be kind of explained in the album. Or it, I don't think it will be. It's not something that you kind of explain in the album. It looks like it's more of like a behind the scenes choice. But I do hope that Kendrick does some press, does an interview or something to where he explains some of these uh, decisions that he made with this album. Because I would love to hear that. I think when you get to a certain level, like a Kendrick Lamar level, a J. Cole level, you no longer want to do like press. You no longer want to interact with your fans on that level. You just want to kind of create. That's something that I see a lot. You don't see these artists hop on social media and talk about, you know, this is why I did this on the album, this is this, uh, you know, breaking down different elements. And that's something that I really do miss about uh, artists like Kendrick Lamar. So we're on our way to April 14th when Kendrick Lamar's new album, Damn, will be released. I'll include the track listing in the description section so you can check it out for yourself. Um, if you see any patterns, by all means, comment. Let me know what you see. Um, what songs are you looking forward to? What are you thinking about this album? What do you think the title means? What about the cover art? Just talk to me in the comment section. Let's have some discussions. Um, and then like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.